Hey guys, this is the math saying, and oh boy, we have a, such a great episode today. We just got the newest Ichiban Kuji set that just came out. It's the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Ultra, and I just literally got the whole set today. And I I have a new format now because uh, you know I thought maybe the the detail collection behind me was a little distracting, uh, and I want to focus more on the figures that I'm reviewing for that episode. And so I decided to move over here. I know right now I look like I'm in a, I'm barricaded with all these boxes, and I don't usually show the boxes, but I just had to show it right now because I just want to give you a look at just like how big. The last one prize, Madden Boo, is compared to the rest of the boxes. I mean, then the next one is Piccolo, and then uh, per uh, Imperfect Cell, and then the rest are like smaller boxes. But just look at this massive box. It's like the size of a King Cluster box. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's just get right on to it. We got a lot of figures to review. And I brought out a lot of my other figures that I haven't even reviewed yet to compare them to. So let's just get on to it, shall we? It's going to be a long episode. Alright guys, so we got prize A, Super Saiyan Gohan. And yeah, you know, this is basically the Gohan that we reviewed earlier, the Ultimate Gohan from a previous episode. But they really just um, gave him a Super Saiyan head with him screaming and with um, with his arms bent in a power up position, but it's basically the same the same figure. You know, I I'm actually pretty impressed. The uh, the head looks nice. The paint job is nice, and you know, it ha still has a kind of, kind of like a mustard yellow for his hair, but uh, it still looks pretty good. His mouth, like the cheeks. Like the inner cheek area is kind of too much, I feel. But overall, I think it's it's not bad, not bad. Let me actually go ahead and bring out other Gohan figures. So the ones that I already reviewed in the previous episodes, like this one. You know, I feel like it's kind of funny that that they gave a different foot stand for um, the Ultimate and the Super Saiyan because it's literally the same leg sculpt. It really is. It's just, yeah, I don't know why they give, just to differentiate it, I guess. But, I mean, sure, why not? Um, I mean, I guess smaller the better. As long as it's stable and so the super saiyan one has a smaller foot stand and um yeah they're they're pretty much identical other than the head sculpts and the arm sculpts so um should we check to see if their heads fit let me let me give it a try you know what it it's not even a head sculpt. It's it's literally just a top and a bottom torso. Wow, okay. So, yeah, we're not going to mess with that. So, yeah, we can't really switch it out. Wow, they did that on purpose so that we can't put the ultimate Gohan head with bending arms. But, you know, I like that they are finally giving us options for Gohan figures. Um you know, in his adult um, form. And so this is great, perfect. So yeah, now let's go on with prize B, which is Piccolo. And here we are. And I wanna say this is just like the other Piccolo uh, from the superhero line, just that his hands are open and he doesn't have lines on his arms and he's like a lime green. His colors are a little bit more purple 
and his belt turned like a darkish bluish purple as well and his um his mouth is open screaming so yeah let's bring out the other piccolo yeah i mean you know the difference though is that i think they put a whole new torso like a literally a whole new torso because the the legs look exactly the same however once again they switched the foot stand from this side to so his right leg to his left leg and but his upper torso like this this part which i thought would have been reused from here is actually bigger and and if you think about it, if you look there's there's no line between his chest going horizontally but this one does it has a little line so it's showing that he's like more ripped or stronger or um but yeah i mean the face looks different too like not just them sculpting it with the mouth open but like i don't know he, he looks more like angry i guess <laughs> his his pupils look smaller and yeah more demonic king piccolo the demon king right yeah and his arms are much bigger too look at that yeah he looks like he just became bigger overall and i can't wait for orange piccolo then he's gonna be a massive beast right he might be like king cluster size so they better make him as big as that at least but yeah awesome i, I thought they were going to be pretty much the same figure but they aren't they're actually pretty pretty different all right okay let's see so we have here oh prize c okay so perfect or imperfect cell so let me see where, where does this go this goes right here and there's actually a stand for his tail look at that so yeah just like that let me see does he is he stable without it nope yeah he, he definitely needs he definitely needs that um let's see You know, he's actually really big, but the thing is, he seems, he feels cheap, like he's hollow, you know, and I don't know, just the feeling of it seems really plasticky, but I mean, he he's very detailed. He looks really cool. I mean, look at that. He kind of looks like the S Cultures line, but just bigger, you know, he just has like a lot of detail, looks really rugged. Um... Man, look at that, just, just little details everywhere. Yeah, um, you know, I forgot to bring out my perfect cell to compare, I'm sorry about that, but um, I did see images online and he's actually taller than perfect cell. I didn't know that imperfect cell would be taller than perfect cell, but I mean, I guess height doesn't really matter in terms of, you know, power because, you know, Take a look at Frieza, for instance, you know, his his second form was a lot bigger than his other forms, but, you know, it wasn't the most powerful either. But yeah, let's put him on the side, and I want to bring out Android 17, one of my favorite figures. He's near, he's basically perfect figure. And yeah, they look great together, you know, because you know Imperfect Cell needs to absorb 17 in order to become um semi-perfect cell and you know 100 percent they're gonna come out with a figure of semi-perfect cell there's no reason for them to have imperfect cell and perfect cell and not have semi-perfect so let's stay tuned for that right um but yeah that's it's like i am going to 
absorb you. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so that was prize C. Let's go ahead and check, take a look at prize D. So prize D is Super Saiyan Yard Rat Goku. And you know, I actually think they did a great job with his head sculpt. He looks really cool. I like his Super Saiyan head sculpt. And he doesn't have any derpy eyes, thankfully. You know, I always look at their eyes and make sure they didn't like make it uneven or anything like that. But you know, the only thing about this figure though is that, uh, so if you notice, remember in my earlier episodes, I always mentioned that in the early DBZ days, uh, Goku's boots would have a yellow outline with red rope ties or laces, I guess you can say. But in the later, I want to say maybe towards the um, Cell Saga onwards. So this is, you know, of course, right after um, Frieza Saga and starting the Android Saga, right? And he still has this because he's coming back from the Frieza Saga. But then once they're training to fight Cell, these colors swap. So then the lining is actually red and the laces turn yellow. I don't know why they did that, but I mean, I like that they um, kept it accurate with these colors. But the, 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 what do you call these pants? The pants are, why is this so shaded? Why is this so dark? I mean, it's just to show that he's like been in a dirty planet with just Yard Rat or what? What's going on with that? But I mean, this is really cool, you know, I, I actually used to have the, um, the Dragon Ball Legends Yard Rat Goku where he's holding his finger up like this to fight uh, Trunks. But I mean, you know, what? I don't know if, well, I don't know why they didn't give him this pose too because Prize E is actually this practically the same figure, but what they did was um, the upper torso has a mold where his right arm is bent and you can switch out the head and the left arm. So this one's really cool because, but everything else is the same. Like the legs are exactly the same. But um, I love this figure. It looks so funny and awesome. Um, oh man, you know what? I'm gonna have to take out my Roshi figure and do some pictures later so you'll you'll take a look at that and I think it'll be pretty funny to see Roshi mad that Goku stole his glasses and you know actually this arm has this little peg right here that goes into the head but it's not really sticking in but you know since you're seeing him from the front that's fine and it looks like he's still holding on to the glasses right but yeah, let me show you the other arm and head. Let's be all careful with that. So we actually have this head and this arm to show that he's, he came back from Yard Red and he's saying hello to the Z Fighters. Or even hello to Roshi right before he steals the glasses, you know. So this one's really nice too, you know. It's really lighthearted. Right before he turns Super Saiyan and becomes all menacing to fight Trunks, right? So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna actually um, have him displayed with the glasses, Roshi's glasses, because it's just so unique. I like that, and um, yeah, so. With that in mind, let's bring out prize F. So we have Super Saiyan Trunks, prize F, to match with, you know, Goku. And, you know, I didn't know Trunks was that much shorter than Goku. Like, he, I mean, I know he's shorter, but not by that much. It's kind of, I don't know if it's up to scale. And honestly, this Trunks, look, look at this. 
I think this is probably the weakest link. Uh, we'll get to the other figures, but yeah, I don't know. They just, they did our boy Trunks wrong, I think. Like, look at this face. I mean, yeah, I just, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, the body is pretty good. Sword is good. But like, his head, his face just doesn't look good. And I really wanted to like this figure because um, I did have the Manga Dimensions, Manga Dimensions, Master Stars piece trunks, right? And I wanted to compare it. So let's take a look at at least the scaling. I mean, they look pretty good together. I, I feel like, um, yeah, I can see this one turning into this one. Except, look at this. this. This doesn't even have the buttons on his, on the right side of his jacket while this one does. You know, like, they're missing some details. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, kind of, they, they, they missed the mark on this one with the details, the head sculpt is all messed up, his scaling is off. Like, Trunks looks a little bit more to scale in Master Star's piece along with Super Saiyan Goku, but not this Trunks. It, uh, kind of disappointing on that one. So, um, yeah, let's move on to Prize G. So, Prize G is Majin Vegeta. Boom! Trunks' his father. So let's like move all these away. And uh Yeah, so we got here Majin Vegeta. So I'm glad that they chose this pose because this is the iconic Majin Vegeta pose, right? And like just I mean it looks awesome. I love this pose, but I mean, overall, this is a good figure. I like this figure. However, um, I have the other Majin Vegeta. It's the, I believe it's the Battle of the Worlds Majin Vegeta, the e-moving one. I didn't bring the other parts. I usually have him like this. And if you think about it, it's it's the exact same figure. And they, all they did was change the arm and head. Just like, I mean, this e-moving figure already changes his arm and head to a different one where he's about to do the sacrifice. Um, but, you know, if we look at their faces... Hmm. This one looks like he's like, he lost weight or he's like on a diet, right? Like this one, he seems healthy, strong. This one, you know, anorexic Majin Vegeta or something. And um, yeah, this one's vein is like popping out like as if he's about to have a brain aneurysm or something. Like this one, they did a really good subtle, I mean, his veins are popping out too, but um. This one's still superior. But it's a lot harder to find this one nowadays. So it's going to be probably more cost efficient to get this one. Since it's just came out, it should be more readily available and cheaper. Um, but unfortunately, this one, the head comes off. It doesn't come off from the chest area like this one does. So we can't switch it out, um, switch out the head. You know, because I would have wanted this head on this body because I like this pose. But I guess with this one now, if I'm gonna keep this one, I might have to go ahead and change this one to the sacrifice position. So then, you know, they get go along well together. But yeah, I, it's kind of, 
lame that they did that. They don't want us to customize it ourselves if we have multiple of the same character. But, you know, I want to bring out one more Majin Vegeta, which is this one. Um, this is the Maximatic Vegeta. And I like this figure too, actually. Like he, it's, it's accurate to the um, manga and anime. He has this pose at that point where, you know, he's, he's basically combating or wanting to start a fight with Goku. And um, yeah, I mean, I wanted to review these two separately in more detail and I probably will eventually in the future, but I just want to bring it out because just to give you an idea of um, the differences between the different Majin Vegetas in the market now. So there you go. Um, now, that was prize G. Now let's go ahead and bring out the big kahuna. Right here. We're gonna bring out this massive beast. Oh my goodness. All right, hold on. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and pose, pose Vegeta with Majin Buu. Okay, this Buu figure is an absolute must have. You saw the box, you saw how big he is. He's actually heavy too. He's he's worth every penny. He He just is perfect in every way possible like okay let's take a look here oh my gosh okay he's heavy all right so look at the detail like i mean he's just a big bubble gun really like he just but i mean okay yeah quality control a little bit right here but i mean not a big deal and you know it's pretty simple figure because he doesn't boot doesn't really have much um details but it's just how it is and um just massive beast right here and um wow look at that this is they go actually go well together i, I like you know because this is what Majin vegeta does against boo his uh his pose and wow Love it, love it. I definitely recommend, you know, you can only get it from Japan right now. I do believe that uh, prizes A through A, A H, wait, is there an H? No, A through G do have um, an overseas release. So uh, you would have to wait for it, but this boo does not. So you definitely need to um, import it, but it's worth it. Uh, it's my first Boo figure in my collection since I could not get that kid Boo figure from the earlier series. And it's way too overpriced now. It's around like anywhere I look, it's 200 plus dollars. And that's just, oh my goodness. Uh, I'm not going to go pay for that. So uh, I'm going to wait on that. But other than that... Um, this boo is my favorite boo because it's my only boo, but it is also uh, one of the top figures in my collection. But anyways, uh, there you have it, folks. Uh, please let me know what you think of this this uh, new Kuji set. And um, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll go ahead and review uh, several of my other figures in my collection next time.